Okay. Let's uh, go ahead and get this started. Those two pieces of music there that was uh, uh, Mechatronics and Rock Radiation from the production music album Automotion Volume 3 uh, by Jeff Newman. Very cool and good music, in my opinion. Um, so today is going to be first stream in a small bit and also. Um, probably a pretty short stream i have a a game here an lsd like called uh, uh neko yume and um if you think that sounds a little bit like yume niki uh, apparently it is a game that was made for um i believe the haunted ps2 one of the haunted ps2 uh game jams a couple years back um and it's uh supposedly inspired by the likes of yume niki and also lsd dream emulator and cats so we're gonna going to take a look at that i got my controller plugged in here i'm gonna see if it has controller support Let's also get this going. Hmm. Hold uh hmm. oh, hold on, it's not capturing like it should. It seems like it has complete hmm. controller support. Hmm. But it's like not, it's not working. Huh. Hold on. Let's try that again. Okay, there we go. Modus Interactive. It's a little haunted PS2 logo down there. Okay. Now let's see. So start is not... Okay, square on this controller is... Apparently, how that works. It's so already the menu screen. I didn't comment on it, but the menu screen looks very LSD. And so does the graphics. So, oh, what the fuck is that? It's um, a cat, apparently. With some dude's face on it. That's bizarre. And the linking system is very LSD. Whoa. This, this escalated very quickly. Okay, well, obviously it looks very, very much like a fateful LSD Dream Emulator type thing. Um, yeah. It's pretty cool. Spaceland. Let's see, can we... Yes, we can run. The movement system is also very similar to LSD. Only it's the controls are full animal analog movement kind of with uh, some tank likeness. This looks a little bit like the, that. First of all, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, I guess maybe it does, but still. This looks a little bit like the uh, uh, top of Bright Moon Cottage. 
can we look up and down? Okay, uh, you can strafe. Okay, the shoulder buttons on this controller just pause it, so I guess we can't look up and down. Wonder if this is a real light source or if this is a texture, which is how it is in LSD. Go down here. Some uh, psychedelic cat images. Is that cat from like the title screen and stuff? Sounds. Oh, it's just a haunted rocking chair. Has no collision. Um. Okay. More cats. Here's a cat. Holy shit. <laughs> it became flat. It expanded. Alright. That's the exit. Dumpster. Okay. Hold on. Make sure that okay, the audio levels seem to be normal still. This looks very violence district y, but it's the daytime, so it's nice now. Like, extremely, extremely violence district y. That's nice. Is this is this cat gonna disappear when I get too close? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. What's the attention to detail we like to see? There's also uh, I can't look down, but there is a uh, structure under the water, not dissimilar to the uh, underwater city, I guess, from the natural world. Also, that's definitely a texture. <laughs> As opposed to a real light source. Are we gonna get like a gunman cat or something? It's a bunch of like shanty vendor buildings. <laughs> sign. Okay. So where to shall we link? This, this, this texture is crazy. What is that? Oh. Oh, I think it's just the resolution. I was seeing some like red, but it's just red pixels on, on the texture. <laughs> Okay, let's run into this dumpster. The music is whole. Okay. I will run into the cat. This apparently appears to be a natural world type of allegory. Or analogous, I guess you could say. Back to Spaceland. Anyways, the music uh, is also very LSD Dream Emulator y. Granted, a little bit more lo fi and uh, at least so far less um, assault on the ears as some of LSD Dream Emulator's music can be. Now we're back at Natural World. Now we have this.
I recall that's the katakana for big, but it probably means different things in different contexts. And I can't look up, so I have no idea. Oh, those are just flowers, okay. Like something let's you know let's let's run into the tree let's run into the tree that was a weird noise oh and I'm assuming this place must have been heavily inspired by the observatory Scene for running into this. No. Instead, we're in front of a wacky shop in another city area, but this time it's much different. And that looks like that one building when we uh, ended up in earlier, the rocking chair. Uh, let's just go this way. Oh, it's blocked off. Never mind. As far as LSD inspired things go, uh, this definitely nails <laughs> the nails the look and feel, and the um, controls are also fairly faithful, but are also simplified and, as you can probably tell, a lot smoother. And you also don't have uh, very loud footstep sounds, which is nice. Oh. <laughs> It's the cat versions of the Geodudes. No, come back. And now we're back in the natural world. There's... Giant... Ghosts... Spirit... Cats... Okay, so that's so that's a little, a little bit of like the human, the human uh, iteration. Also, th this area is dark now. Okay, what even is that some kind of cat NPC? It's all weird, I guess. <laughs> Back here again. Only this time there's even more strange cats. Okay. Oh. Why does this say day four? I only did one day. Anyways, uh, that was interesting. Let's let's do another day of that, I guess. Just the same cat that we ran into initially. Let's just go this way. Oh, these things again. 
We don't have to run into those. That's, that's crazy. Let's not, the texture warping isn't that bad on like this grass, but on this, holy shit. <laughs> Just link. Oh, there's, there's now a cat here. Yeah. It's rolling a cube back and forth. run into the kit. Back here again. This seems to be a common spawn point. This corner of this natural world area. Let's go find out what these flying cat things are. <laughs> Like they're fish cats. Also, there's a turtle. J is it gonna become small? No, it's not. It's a turtle cat, and it makes loud noises. like chicken sounds this this clock we're sounds like clucking <laughs> so we're up on the balcony of this area now oh and we just fell through it which is actually a thing fun fact okay so in the in a actual like the like lsd dream emulator like the the actual its version of this area uh, you can sometimes spawn on that balcony in an unreachable area or through normal gameplay. Kind of like that, that you could sometimes spawn in like that, that far away balcony in the start of the, the observatory or whatever area. And I believe if you walk there or take a step, you'll just fall through and then, uh, It'll trigger the falling and then the waking up bit. Back here. Okay, let's let's go in here. Oh. There's now a bunch of cats here. This guy's spinning. Let's try getting to the top or something like that. It's those guys. What if there's a gray man in this. That is a static TV. Let's link with it. Back here again. And speaking of inaccessible areas, look where we're at. A area that is normally inaccessible. Also, the texture warping is crazy here. Back to Violence District. Is this cat gonna disappear? Yeah. Hmm. I wonder if there's any like significant link points in this area. <gasps> Vehicle. <laughs> Doesn't have any collision. 
and go through it, it doesn't actually do anything. I'll just link with this. <laughs> Back here! Good grief, okay. I wonder how many areas there actually are in this game, because I know for a fact this game is not finished. The, uh... It was made for the jam a couple of years ago, I think like 2018, 2019. Um, and what is here so far is like pretty cool, but uh, I don't think it's been updated or anything like that for at least a whole year, if not more. Um, it's just a little bit of a shame because this is pretty cool. Not gonna be able to get a good look at those cat bird things. Let's um go to waterfall, I guess. Another violence district. Like this thing, at this time, it's like a, a cool blue fog and everything. Thanks. Let's, I don't know, link with this dock. Oh. Oh? Wait, that's how? Oh! Triangle and circle on my controller allows me to look up and down. Okay. That's nice. Just a bunch of catfish. And I don't, you don't have to hold it like, yeah. It just pivots the camera, like it doesn't go up or down. Afterwards, also here's some kind of cat with a hat. There's a the bird fish cat. Let's go this way. Let's see this thing. What does it look like? Just a cat swimming in the ground. Not dissimilar to the cat from Magic Ant in Mother 1. That swims in the ground, only that one is more literally swimming in the ground, being a fish cat. Uh, doesn't look like there's an opening on this building, but I'll still link with it. Back here. And something... oh. Also, cats zero. Do we collect cats? And we're day seven. Somehow. Here again. And the, uh... An accessible area. Back here. Let's see, how many maps is this so far? So we have observatory, we have uh, bookshop, we have violence district, we have natural world, uh, we have the. Um, Uh, the astral walkway, I guess you could say. It seems to be analogous to the uh, sun faces heave. I'll run to the side. Maybe. 
Actually, I don't think I don't think this has a link point. It does not. I don't think. Never mind. Let's go to this dumpster then. But yeah, that's so one, two, three, four, five, five areas. Which, I mean, this area is pretty big, so I'm hoping maybe... Ooh... Is this gonna be Kakariko Village? <laughs> I'm hoping there's at least one more area here in this here... game. Oh! It's the top of the waterfall. Nice view. <laughs> okay, back here. Let's go into the bookstore again. Let's. You know, let's. Well, actually, we can't. We just went through the guy, so I don't think they got collision. Let's. Go back up to the place that had the TV and see what else is in there. Oh, never mind. It's day eight now. Also, so far, I have not seen any kind of gray man type character, which I guess is good. This gray man is s scary. But also, I don't know what a gray man type character would even do uh, in this year game. Make you lose all your cats. Well, I guess maybe these... These are just more like inconveniences though, you know, you're just like running along and then they show up. Okay, that's pretty crazy. So like, what is... Okay. Okay, we're back here. Sweet. Okay, that's very nice. Can I link with this? And we are back in the library. Okay. Oh, let's try this again. In before. Oh wait, I'm about to go back outside. Let's up here. I'm so glad the stairs aren't a cutscene. Not this floor. This floor, this is what we want. TV is off. Oh shit, that scared me. What's this guy doing? I guess just checking the TVs? Okay.
how do you play it? Oh. Now a cat admiring the artwork here. Guess we can link with this cat. Became elongated and now it's gone. I don't think we link with this bit. And we're back here. Here we have the cat temple area. Let's try to... Let's try to see as much as we can see in this area. There's another place where that would go. One. Somehow we cut a cat. Mm. Uh, okay. Hmm. I guess we'll play one more day. I think we've seen most of everything that this game has. Also, guess where we are. That's right. It's now very blue in here. Back here. We've been around this building. It's impossible action. Also, there is a train. Just, just go in, just. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it's gonna end. Past the cat scholars. Let's try to go to the top of this building. And though we've already been to the top before, we're gonna do it again to see if there's anything new. Exciting. We'll say the music is quite nice. Really hasn't been uh, any grading tracks. It's like a calmer LSD thing with like a bit more of like the Yume Nikki sort of thing going on for some of the tracks. Like atmospheric as opposed to annoying. Is that, is that it? No, we're linking. We linked. We're... The... There's a graffiti. We're back in here. Is that new? No. I don't recall seeing that graffiti. Let's just like run into it. So I'm pretty sure it looked like the texture changed when I approached. Back right here. Specifically at this spot point. Also the sky as well. I haven't mentioned anything about the sky, but like the effects a lot of the effects are, are very faithful to LSD. Um, and like the, the black sky with like the clouds that are like a flat texture. Have like a little tiny bit of movement sometimes. So this is a striking tree. It's like 
know him. Okay, let's run into this nice tree. a giant spider cat and it is approaching the city that's impressive will it actually get on land I think it's gonna do it. I think it's gonna do it. Wait, was that it? Under the water? Yeah, it's... I think it just... Yeah, it made landfall. Did I link? No. Uh -oh. ah, it's just gonna do that, okay. Uh, let's link at this bench. I'm back here. Are we wonder can you f I wonder if you could fall off the map in such a case and what would happen? Cause I can't I can't link with this. Oh, I can't? Did I? No, it was just the end of the day. Um, there's a save. Okay. I think I'm good. I think we've I think we've seen most of most of what this game has to offer. Let me uh. Not me to start. I'll just close it out. Okay. So final thoughts on uh, Neko Yume. Uh, I thought I think it was pretty good for. I mean, so I don't think this game is gonna get updated. Um, I I'd be very surprised. Uh, probably. Uh, like, I I, th I th don't think it'll be updated, but if it were to be updated, here's what I think. I think it's really good. The core is definitely very LSD, um, very faithfully so, but it also doesn't like fall into the trappings of like having a shit movement scheme. It has like st streamlined take controls. You have to like turn, so using analog the analog stick on the controller uh turning left and right causes your character to move left and right in place but to go forward or backwards you have to hold forward or backwards so tank like but without um some of the funkiness of the uh tank controls on like the the original PS1 like the PS1 games. Uh, on top of that, the dedication to matching the the vibe is immaculate. Like the the low resolution textures, the texture warping on some of it was a little extreme, but it seems like most of the textures had a moderate amount of warping. Um, on top of that. Um, visually, they, they just generally really nailed making a game that looked a whole hell of a lot like LSD Dream Emulator. It felt like it too. The linking system, pretty spot on. Uh, m music was very nice. 
I don't think there was that many tracks. There might have been as many tracks as there were areas. Um, but it was nice and pleasant. Sound effects were nice. Um, if they were, if the developer who made this, um, oops, I, uh, I guess the, um, uh, the Game Jam developers who made this back when it was made for Game Jam, if they were to expand on this, um, I think it could definitely have room for more worlds. And I think th there was probably at some point a plan for more worlds or more areas, given how many traffic cones there are. Really kind of reminded me of uh, Yume Niki, or, you know, Yume Tuki, the fan-made Yume Niki sequel. And uh, its habit of marking unfinished areas with copious traffic cones. Uh, or like roadblocks and stuff like that. Clear under construction signs. Um, but yeah, could definitely... I think the game is definitely really solid. I like the cat theming. I think it's nice. Um, and also helps it stand out from just, you know, being the nth game to try and recreate the... Uh, dreamy weemy uh, esoteric strange quality of uh, LSD Dream Emulator um, but once again I, I have a feeling that the developer has probably long since moved on from this project it would be nice to see it updated and get more stuff because I think it's really effective at what it does um, but uh, yeah uh, definitely pretty interesting regardless. And also may very well be uh, one of the best, like, one of the best examples of a game really trying to match a nail. The only other one I can think of is LSD Revamped, which is quite literally like a one-to-one -one recreation of LSD Dream Emulator versus this, you know, it, it is trying to be more of its own thing clearly wearing its inspirations on its sleeve but um it's really solid as it is so yeah a little bit of a shame if it truly is um like a done and done not going to be updated um which could very well be the case but regardless um i thought it was pretty nice i thought it was good especially for a game jam game uh, very, very good. So, yeah. So, like I said, it was going to be a short stream today. Um, that's going to be the only thing I'm playing. Next time, I don't know what I'll play. I have a couple ideas. Keep saying I'll check out more Pikmin 2 ROM hacks. And I'm really thinking about checking out one called Pikmin uh, 269. <laughs> Uh, I saw Vinny play some of it um, just from the name alone you can probably get the idea of what kind of ROM hack it's going to be so that might be interesting but uh, I also am thinking about checking out uh, some Pokemon ROM hacks uh, I have a couple I've collected and have not looked into one of which is supposed to be good Another one of which is supposed to be, like, not good because it, like, stole assets or something. I don't know. Um, that one might be crappy, but uh, th that seems interesting. So I'll definitely eventually probably check those out. But I'm not exactly sure what I'll do next stream. Um, but yeah, regardless, I hope you all had a, a, uh, a fun time. Uh, checking out cats and dreams and dream cats and I hope you all have a good night so see it